apologies. They are right. Anyways, as I was saying about my shoulder, it's mad at me. So I'm going to work around not using this shoulder. So this is how it's done. It's like, no, you guys will appreciate this because we're not going to do any burpees, planks, blah, blah, blah. Unless you so desire. But we're going to get started. I'm just going to start the timer. We're going to do a little bit of a warm up round here. And then, if you have a bander that you can put on your legs here, above your knees, we'll do that right after, okay? Let's just get the timer started. Alright, so I always like to start with some butt kickers. Kick my own butt. Heart rate going. And if you want, you can just swing your arms a bit. Um, like I said, my shoulder's super inflamed. I don't even really want to move it. I'll just gently grow. Oh, the joys of going too far. <laughs> okay, so let's just do a step tap. Step, tap. And if you want, you can turn it into a speed skate. Or you can just step and tap. But let's pick up that pace a bit. Okay, we're going to go right into high knees. Again, any of these cardio moves don't work for you. Guess what? Just do one that does. Knees up, get tight, swinging my arms. Right. And some standing jacks out. Again, with my shoulder, I'm just going to do the lower body part of the standing jacks. I'm feeling warmed up a bit now. Cha cha cha. <laughs> do the step. I can't believe how much I actually used this darn shoulder of mine. <laughs> Wee. Just seeing who's all here so I know what to do. Okay, just a little jog. All right. That feeling. <laughs> I'm just gonna run. Alright. Alright, so grab a band for your leg. You don't have one? That's okay, you can still do all the exercises without a band. I'm gonna put my butt on a wall since one of my arms is out of commission. It's my left. Alright, so now I got my band on. It's a pretty tight one too. I really like these cloth ones. Those rubber plasticky ones tend to roll up my legs more. Okay, so just a basic squat. Just warm it up. If you want, you can just tap your bum on a chair. Just warm it up. my one arm behind my back, stretch my shoulder while I squat. <laughs> All right, still squatting. Want to warm up? Take 
can even do it. Just pull the wall sit in this position. Okay, so let's add a pulse at the bottom. Pulse back up. Pulse back up. With or without a band. If you can't do that, that's okay too. You can still just do normal squats or a glute bridge. Okay, some more butt kickers. A whole different story when you're wearing a band. Another jog. I just want to warm up. Fast, fast, fast. Like putting the fire out. Alright. Let's get ready to go to the floor. Like I said, no dumbbells today. Just a band on the leg. Working on that core. Here we go. Okay, so exercise number one. Clamshells. Lying on your side. You're gonna put that upper body down because you're gonna you wanna fire up that back butt cheek. I'm gonna keep my knees and hips parallel and just open that knee up. If you're feeling it more in your hip, it means you need to turn that upper body down. Here we go. We've got five seconds till we start. Two, one, let's go. You don't even need a band to do these clamshells. For some reason you can't do clamshells, you could do a single leg glute bridge. Seconds, we're gonna switch to the other side. Eight seconds. Ooh. All right, switch over. Trying to protect this stupid. <laughs> or is it mad at me? <laughs> there we go. Clamshell away. And again, like this shoulder's a bit off, so I'm not pushing my chest towards the floor, but you would want your chest on the floor so it's less hip, more butt. Which I'm trying to do. The shoulder's so mad. Oh, that's better. To dead bug. Okay, hands up, belly button in the floor. Now, for some reason, you can't do the movement of the lower body. Just hold that belly button in the floor and you'll be strengthening your pelvic floor. Okay, let's extend out. My feet are on the floor and I'm extending my arms out. Opposite, right arm, left leg, etc. And I'm also keeping my lower back pushed into the floor like someone's pulling my belly button from my, through my back to the floor. So I'm going a bit of a pelvic tilt there. Pushing those hip bones towards your face more. Like cat. You want that rounded back like cat. Lower back pushed in. Do not hold your breath though. That's common when people try to do that. All right, so now I'm just gonna run my hands up my legs to my knees and back down. If you have neck issues, just do a reverse crunch. Just like that, okay? Here we go all the way up to my knees, back down, slow-mo. Up, down. 
go up high enough that I can cut my knees with my hands and then back down. Nice controlled roll. Let's go right back into our clamshells again. Getting ready. Two, one, let's go. to dead luck. So feet down, push up belly button in, and hold. Now, if you want to extend out, do that. If you can't do that, just hold that fat lower back and push it into the floor. But don't hold your breath, just hold the back. Push that belly button down towards the floor. You can do it. You don't want your back lifting up when you're doing this exercise. And now that we have a band on, it just makes it a little more of a leg workout as well. Now I'm gonna run my hands up to my knees, cut my knees, and then roll down nice and slow. This is not a fast exercise. Three, two, one. Run my hands up, cut my knees, and roll down slowly. Reach to a reverse crunch here at the bottom of your neck. Apologies, we're doing lots on the floor today, but like I said, when you've got a bit of an injury or something's holding you back, you just gotta work around it so you can keep your regime. All right, one more round. Here we go. Lamb shells it is. <laughs> I like to, like I said, if you're feeling it more in your hip, you want to put that chest towards the floor. You can even just put your hand there and feel what muscle is firing and adjust the upper body accordingly. This is 
a moment where I'm glad my window's open. <laughs> Switch sides. I tuck my sore shoulder back behind me so I can put my chest forward and do clamshells on the other side. One of us said they have a bad cold. Now that's something I would not push through on a workout. When your body is strength trying to support your immune system, that's when you rest. You don't have to be a star. You're just gonna make yourself sicker. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Okay, dead bug it is. If you wanted to, you could lift your feet up to do dead bug. Depending on whether you have a strong lower back. Otherwise, let's push that belly button into the floor as we extend out opposite limbs and breathe. That back pushed in the floor. It's gonna try and creep up when you get weaker. As the exercise goes on. Ten seconds. All right. Rolling those hands up to the knees, cup the knee, and then roll slowly back down to the floor. Full control. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Roll up. Slowly back down. It actually is not only working your core, but kind of deep your spine at the same time. What? How does it feel? When Even you if you're doing that reverse crunch, how does it feel? You're still just rolling when along that spine. How does it feel? <sighs> it's a sweet time. Oh my goodness. How does it feel? Ten seconds. I'm just going to grab a sip of water and then we're going to move on to another round on the floor. Good times. Start by lying on our side. You got a second because I'm going to start this exercise. So again, if you can't do the, any of these, I want you to either do glute bridges or clamshells or something else that you think you can do. Otherwise, I'm going to support my neck. I'll straighten my leg out. And I'm going to go one, two, back. One, two, back. Just like that. Okay? So we're going to start in five seconds. And because we have the band on now, we're making it super challenging. Especially if you have a really strong band. One, two, back. Two. Two, back. Two, back. Two, 
back. One, two, ten seconds. So yeah, you could be doing a right leg glute bridge in this spot. If it bothers your hips to do that kick. Alright, let's do the other side. <laughs> but I'm still here. <laughs> here we go. One, two, Russian twist, or you can just lift your body up and do a penguin, but for some people that bothers their neck, so Russian twist, nice and slow, here we go, full control if you wanted, you can put your arms straight out in front of you, which keeps your shoulders shifting instead of moving your arms around, right, it's a good way to keep that upper torso accountable for twisting. Instead of moving your arms, you gotta move your torso. 20 seconds. down the tummy to the lower part so you can either do bicycle kicks or for some reason you can't do any kicks and you're going to do an upper body crunch just holding those legs up otherwise hold the crunch and bicycle kick down so I'm holding my upper body up while I kick out the bottom but if say I can't do that because I don't want to kick my hips out, then I would just do a crunch up and down with the upper body, just like that. Moving my legs up. Otherwise, hold your upper body up, kick. You can even do the kicks with your feet on the floor. If so, if it helps your back. It just depends on your body. Kick. All right, lie on your side. We're going right to the beginning again. So it's one, two, and back. Here we go. One, two, back. And if you can't do this, you're doing a single leg loop bridge, right? One, two, my face when I do this just so I'm, while I'm doing this exercise I'm actually stretching out my calves. <laughs> All right we're gonna switch sides just give you a second while I go and change update that timer again. That means we're moving along pretty nicely. Okay we're gonna switch sides. Here we go other side. Oh 
10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to remember what the heck I did next. <laughs> That's so funny. Here we go. Oh yeah, Russian twist. Silly me. Easy shoulders. Kind of feels good though to get a bit of blood pumping. It's a bit nicer on the shoulder to stretch it out a bit not put it above my head you know not lift anything over my sh over shoulder length height five four two one all right and now we're going to do that hold that upper body crunch if you're not moving your legs and doing your bicycle kick you can just hold your legs up crunch up and down Otherwise, hold that upper body and kick. And we're slipping a bit. Look at my core and my legs at the same time. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Whew. All right, one more round. So kick forward, one, two, kick back. Here we go. We're doing a single leg loop bridge, right? One, two. Super challenging. After this, I'm gonna give Mike a big workout. <laughs> He's gonna love it. One, two, three, two, one. He's too tough for this one. <laughs> He'd be bored, I think. He likes to have big weights, make big man muscles. Us ladies, we like it. Long and lean muscles. Here we go. Let's do the other side. One, two, back. Like I said, I'm keeping my foot flat and actually kind of pushing my heel down so that I can stretch that calf at the same time because I'm snicker. 15 seconds, two, and back, one, two, three, and back. And having that resistance band sure makes a difference. One, two, back, one, two, and back, good. All right, it's gonna go right into my Russian twist. All right, hands forward. You actually put a dumbbell in your hands. It's super challenging. A really light dumbbell too, especially if you want to protect those shoulders. Or you could just bring the dumbbell to your chest. Hold it there. I just find having my arms out, extend it out front, just ensures that I'm turning my torso and not moving the arms. So it makes my shoulders turn side to side. 15 seconds. In my eye. 
10. Five. Three. Two. One. Good. Here we go. This is the one where you're either doing an upper body crunch, or you can even use the resistance of that, or you're going to bend those knees and do some flutter kicks as you hold your upper body up, or, or not flutter kicks, sorry, bicycle kicks, or you can just do the bicycle kicks if you want to protect your neck. You just put your head down and do your bicycle kicks. Either way, you're going to work that tummy. Trying to hold my shoulders right up off the floor. Challenging. Yeah. 18 seconds. Woo! Yeah. I might cut it early today just because. Oh, we're so angry. All right, so let's just lay on our back and we're gonna do the shape like a figure eight with our legs. Kind of like the infinity sign. If you can't do that one, I want you to repeat one of the core exercises that you found the most challenging that worked for you. Okay, otherwise, infinity and beyond. instinct would be to stretch my shoulder or at least get some sort of blood flow in it but because I went and used that massager I aimed it <laughs> so I have to get to have very little movement right now just to warm it up but protect it okay we're doing that infinity again or like I said do any exercise that you feel challenged you if you cannot do this infinity one. Just the number, like if the number eight lying on its side, or imagine the infinity sign, which is the same thing. It's all about core. You can always do core when in doubt. <laughs> you got an injury. At least you can do something. Think about it. If you're getting blood flowing through your body, you want to be flushing out those muscles. Motion is lotion. As long as you're not putting weight on it. Okay. One more time. Do that crazy infinity sign again. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. And if you make your circles, you're bigger, it's harder. <laughs> now I'm actually anchoring myself down with my hands so that my shoulders stay stable. That way, all my core and my obliques get some good work. You don't want your shoulders lifting up. Upper body does not move, it's all lower. We're gonna do one more. That's it. I'm cutting you loose. It's gonna be a heel tap. You could either do it with your feet up or in a 90 degree angle. If you do the 90 degree angle, try not to bend, like change the bend in the back of that leg. And if for some reason you can't do that, you can also do a reverse crunch. It still works the lower part of that tummy. Or if you have to, you could do alternate knee touches with the upper body as well. Still working your tummy, right? Here we go. Oh, band is mean. <laughs> Just tap 
in that heel. Do a straight leg, or you could do it with a bent knee, heel tap. Either one still gets you good. And then in between, I want you to hug your knee to your chest. Your knees, not your knee. <laughs> Why? You can rock side to side. Alright, let's do it again. Oh. I'm actually going to put my hands underneath my butt and support my lower back. A little bit of elevation there just to protect my lower back. Now I got my hands under my bum. Actually, it really still works my tummy just the same, but now my lower back is a little happier. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, the timer stopped, so I guess that means we're stopping. <laughs> I'm going to take my band off. Right. See you later, band. I'm going to hug one knee to my chest. If you want, you can grab that ankle and turn your heel towards your hip. And just stretch it in different directions. All right, let's squeeze the other leg to the chest. Wow. Okay, let's turn that ankle if you want to turn that heel towards your um, opposite hip or whatever. It just gives you a different angle to stretch on the glute. Because we're in that band, we did kind of get our butt cheeks a bit. And you get a free pass, you get out a little bit early today. But. We'll be stretching tomorrow too, which will feel great. <laughs> 